Hey guys, welcome to the first official video of the B Rocks YouTube channel. Um, the B Rocks is my eBay store. Uh, the B Rocks name is just a play on my last name, Brock. And um, I flip things on eBay. Uh, it's not my full time job, but it's a part time job that um, serves me well. I'm a teacher and baseball coach during the day and um, an eBay seller at night and the summer when I'm off, of course, which is when I get most of my items. Um, I've been selling for um, about six years on eBay and what I hope to do is just share some info with you guys that um, may help you out in getting started or if you've been flipping for a while like me, maybe you'll, you'll get some ideas and maybe we can share ideas. Maybe you can leave some comments um, on some of my videos that um, will teach me something. So maybe we can learn from each other along the way. Who knows? I don't really know what I'm doing here with these videos, but I will give it my best shot. And uh, today um, I wanna share with you um, some info about what I sell. Um, you know, it's I, I can't go through everything right now just for the fact that uh, I sell a lot of stuff. I, I've had over 800 items in my shop this month, and um, I've sold 100 and something items. Um, but I can I can share with you um, just a few tips today, and, uh, and we'll build off that as we go. Um, but first thing I want you to know is um, when I go out and source. I try to spend as little as possible, uh, like literally a dollar or less. Um, I do find an item sometimes that are three, four, five dollars, or you know, occasionally I'll spend upwards to ten on things that I know that um, that may get me ten times my money or more. Um, you know, I don't just pass those things up, obviously, but um, I really try to spend as little as possible each time I source, and I source one, two maybe three times a week at most on some weeks. Um, but uh, I'm just gonna share with you real quick what um, I've sold uh, just in the last 24 hours. Um, over the weekend, I picked up these mugs. Some of y'all may know what this is. Um, these are the Starbucks You Are Here um, collector's mugs. You know, when you travel around, you go to different places like this one is Alabama. Um, I have New Orleans, Florida. Um, when you travel around, you can pick up these mugs and um, at different shops, and uh, they're highly collectible. Um, the Bahamas one I have here is not, um, it's not officially the You Are Here collection mug, but still it classifies in that category, I guess you could say, and... Um, this one, this one is collectible as well, just like the actual You Are Here collection. Um, but I sold two last night, and I got these for $1.50 a piece. Um, I sold the Alaska one, this one right here, for $25. And the person also paid for priority shipping. And the same for the New Orleans. Okay, um, It sold for $15, and the person paid for shipping. Um, Obviously, there's some great pickups. Some of these will sell for 10 bucks a piece. Uh, I picked up eight total. Um, and like I said, the Bahamas one, it'll probably sell for about 25 bucks itself. Um, but all of these I got for $1.50 a piece at a thrift store. I mean, somebody dropped off their whole collection. Um, I was there to, to scoop them up and, um, and I'll do well with those. Um, this is a favorite sale of mine. Um, over the last month and uh, it sold during the night uh, just last night but it is an Arizona Wildcats 1990s Nike reversible jersey reversible you turn it inside out here and you can see the that it's also not just navy blue but it's white um, these are highly collectible um, I picked it up at a thrift store for a dollar and that's what I'm talking about right there is um, finding vintage jerseys or just vintage clothing like that where it's a dollar or less guys I sold this for $55 I mean 55 times my money right there so 
Um, you know, these are the kind of things that I sell. Now, I, these, don't, these kind of flips don't happen weekly. Um, these, these are some of the better flips. Um, I have what I call grind flips. Uh, these are flips that, um, you know, that I know will sell quick and you don't make a whole lot of money off of them, but uh, things like uh, certain types of dress shirts, uh, polos, t-shirts, you know, I'll pick them up for, I'll pick them up for a dollar, um, 50 cents sometimes, you know, at garage sales and, uh, they'll sell for anywhere between 10, $15. And, um, um, so with, after shipping and fees and everything, you know, I'm making five bucks or more off those flips. And sometimes, um, I'll, I'll even buy a bunch of t-shirts. You know, if I see a lot of t-shirts at a yard sale that I can get, um, that I know will sell quickly, like say Nike, Under Armour, t-shirts, things like that, that are in good shape. Um, uh, I'll, I'll pick those up and sometimes I'll pay a little bit more. That's kind of like what I was saying earlier. I will spend upwards of, you know, two, three dollars a t-shirt and, um, uh, and after fees and everything may make seven, eight dollars a shirt. Um, but I try to really have a high volume of things that will sell quick like that to keep the cash flow going. And then things like this, even though I just pitched, picked this up this, um, over the past a week or two, sometimes they sit longer. So when you have your items in your store that are, that are long tail that sell for, you know, 50 bucks, hundred bucks or more, um, you know, you got these little grind items that you just grind along with that, um, uh, that keep bringing in money until you hit the bigger sales. And, um, that's, that's how I do it. Um, you know, I try to always list, uh, when, when I have a, or after I've been sourcing, I try to list my quick sales first. Um, because, you know, if I bring in 50, 60 items, I, I'm going to be, you know, I list anywhere from 10 to 20 items a day. And so I'm listing those items over the course of, um, the next week or so. And I try to list all the ones that will sell quickly first. So, uh, it's a good feeling in a couple of days or so that you see your money and then some come back and everything after that is, is pure profit. Um, but, uh, you know, so that's, uh, that's where we're at today. Like I said, this is my first video. Um, I hope to, to give a lot of information out to you guys and, um, um, I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel and now getting it started, um, you know, I just, I just want to help people out and I think I can have a lot of fun and also it gives me some more, um, accountability to myself and gives me an extra drive to keep on digging and finding those treasures and sharing them with you guys. But, uh, yeah, this is the B rocks channel. Be well, be happy and be rocking it out. See you guys.